Hello. Um, I'd like to do a book review today uh, because I read the book yesterday and this book I read so many times in the past and each time I re read it and there's a strong emotional impact on me and I every time I read oh yeah uh, you know I cried and uh, uh, gosh I, I don't want to read it again but uh, again you know I re read it again and I still it's like one of the most um, strong uh, book and a kind of a short book um, it's a uh, uh, John Steinbeck's My Son Man uh, this is like a every high school students um, must read uh, list and also you know teachers talk about all the time and I think uh, so many people uh, felt that that is one of the best book of American literature and everything and uh, uh, but still I when I read it it's still impactful and uh, you know so many times I read it and I saw the TV movies and movies and all these things uh, but still you know gosh it, it, it is it is a love story about these two men uh, George and Lenny George is a little bit, I think, older, maybe. Lenny is younger, maybe. And uh, um, uh, they, um, they get to know each other and uh, they love each other. And uh, so George is especially taking care of Lenny. Lenny is, is a very physically strong guy, but uh, mentally a little bit, um, you know, little bit uh, difficulties mentally remembering and uh, doing things and uh, um, you know he's not 100% uh, uh, um, uh, functional uh, human being and uh, uh, he uh, George is gonna uh, George for some reason that they decided to travel uh, I think because of depression and there's no jobs and so forth and they uh, look for jobs for here and there and but the uh, whole through the time I think uh, both of them are dreaming of this paradise type of place where uh, both of them can live in a house together and um, you know having uh, like a farm or something you know they can grow something and uh, eat something from the the, uh, the the produce they uh, they had and uh, you know they can take care of the chickens and all these things and they can have a pet and uh, you know, all these things that uh, they can dream and especially Lenny Lenny because it's a little bit uh, mentally um, the um, you know not perfect uh, he uh, dream of those lives because he he feels that that life is something that he really feels comfortable and enjoyable. George knows um, that particular life is very, very difficult to come by because of the, the society's the life, uh, of his life in the past and uh, everything. But he decided to take care of Lenny and uh, try to make him happy and uh, try his best to make him happy and uh, but Lenny you know stumbles and uh, uh, did the bad thing once in a while and the regret and all these things um, that uh, uh, George you know trying to try to curtail a little bit uh, but uh, you know the devastation uh, follows after that but anyway, what is the most um, striking thing is, is that um, these two men uh, dream of this life of happiness. I think you, people can relate that to the, anybody who has a, like a family or friends or maybe close friends or family, or parents or children or you know and friends who really love you know he george really loved lenny lenny 
really, really loved George also, and they are depending on each other or something. And uh, the, you know, this particular love is nothing to do with your uh, financial gains or your you know, trying to um, tag along with this particular person to, to get happy or whatever. But uh, it's more or less like a deep human being's love. Um, uh, when I was a when I was a child, I think when I was in elementary school, I have a best friend who is um, very. I think he is very um, open and very cheerful. While I was a little bit uh, skeptical, I was a little bit shy, but this friend was uh, very open and uh, you know, makes me happy to be with him. And, and it's uh, simply that particular happiness, uh, you know, made the us together. And I, th I remember that particular friendship and uh, I think in this one also uh, kind of a um, reminds me of that particular friendship and it's it's like a genuine love to to um, to this person and uh, you try to make him happy and try to make uh, himself happy too and uh, but uh, um, that particular life is hard to come by it's so difficult and uh, um, you know the uh, there is an expression that, uh, um, like uh, for your child, you know, when you when you're really really poor, your child is very happy, right? In nature, uh, the little kids, like a two years old, three years old kids, are very happy, even though the life is so difficult and uh, financially no money is anything, and but uh, the kids are very happy because of the this parents or whatever the caregivers uh, attention to, to him and he, he think that's a wonderful life. And so, but slowly, slowly, I think uh, the reality of the life goes in there. And even though the person who is taking care of these little kids um, don't have a mean, doesn't have a, a means to to keep on going, the means to keep this child to be to be happy, and uh, that's also uh, in Japanese it's called hubin. Hubin is the uh, the feeling that um, you feel very very sad and sorry about this particular uh, child that he you really really love, and uh, but you cannot make him happy because of your your financial situations, or your uh, circumstances, uh, and it's it's almost like a you know it's like a desperation of the life makes this particular relationship uh, you know doesn't come through, and so I felt that, and I I don't know the you know other people who read this, you, they feel that type of. Uh, um, feeling uh, I have no idea but uh, for me it's it's about that and it's about uh, this love very strong love to this particular person I think that could be your own child or could be your f friends who cannot perform as much as uh, uh, average people but you really have to take care of this particular person and uh, make try to make this person happy uh, but you can't because of circumstances and uh, so in the, for that reason I think the Mice and Men um, I really think that they one of the best American literature and um, I really felt that um, everybody should read this book uh, even though it's difficult to read because of the you know tragedy that Follows and everything, but uh, you really have to read it and uh, think about the life and uh, the life you had uh, or life you will have in future or whatever. 
and uh, the most important thing is that uh, life you have now, right? So I really think that you, that's what you have to take, take away from this particular story. Okay, thank you. Bye.